And we're back with another Pico CTF challenge, this time hashing job app. Description, if you want to hash with the best, beat this test. And then we're given a netcat command. So we're going to reach out across the internet and hit this host, hit this IP, and interact with some service they have. So let's go ahead and let's see what they've got. Please MD5 hash the text between quotes, excluding the quotes. And we're given the word cholesterol. There are a few ways you could do this. One is you could go to some place like onlinemd5.com and you could get a calculator you could use and you could put in the text and bring over the answer, paste it in. You'll see we have to do this several times. And there's actually, there's a timeout on the web service. So if we're not fast enough, it will time out. So I'll do all these first, and then we'll talk about other ways you could do this. I guess it's worth talking quickly about what this is as well. So MD5 is a hashing algorithm. It's a way of taking an input and getting a, what's, what's the right way to phrase this? Hashes are used in, in so many different ways. It, it could be used as verification that something is still intact. So it's a checksum. It can be used for security purposes, for example, storing passwords. It's used in blockchain as the way they do proof of work. Hashes are used everywhere. It's a, it's a very common function and super useful to know about. MD5 happens to be one of those families of hashing algorithms. So let's talk about pitfalls that could happen. So since we know that hockey is this MD5, let's try right now to hash using the command line. I'm going to do echo hockey which just spits out hockey. We, we all agree this is okay. And now I'm gonna to try to put it into the MD5 sum utility. And we can see we get a very different hash than what we got before. It's no longer DF0, it's now FF0. So something's wrong here. And this was a stumbling block for me for quite a bit Let's take the output of the echo and let's put in a file. We'll call it hockey.txt. And we'll use the MD5 sum again, just to verify that everything is still the same. So we're still getting that FF0 value. So whatever's wrong with this is still wrong. So when we look here, we can see, for some reason, we have a new line character. And that's breaking our hash because the new line character is not something that we had present when we were doing the hashing before. So if we remove that new line character, now we can see that the hash works out to be the same as before. Remember. Uh, capitalization doesn't matter in this case. This is all hexadecimal and uppercase D is the same as lowercase D. So you can see these are exactly the same. So something to bear in mind when you're doing this on the command line or anywhere else, if you're doing hashing, it will take literally every character, even invisible ones, which can trip you up. So sometimes it's nicer to just find something like this online MD5 hash generator. All right, that's all I got. Thanks, have a good one.